We've talked about these trees on Gisela and their propensity for heavy crops, and if you don't balance that crop, how that has a very strong negative feedback on vegetative growth. The less vegetative growth you get every year, the more flowers you get, the more flowers you get, the less the vegetative growth. You get into a very difficult cycle that causes the tree to runt out and your fruit size to really fall off. So we found a very nice branch here on a tree that illustrates the effect of heavy cropping on vegetative growth. If we can zoom in on this branch, we'll see last year's growth demarcated by my finger and the pruners here about four inches. We look at the growth then from the previous year it was about six inches. The previous year before that was about nine inches. And the year before that, we're looking at 14 inches. So you can see as this tree grew and started cropping more and more heavily that the vegetative growth declined from 14 to 9 to 6 to 4. Next year we may only get one inch of new growth and flower buds will form all the way out to the tip of that new growth, exacerbating this problem we have of trying to balance the crop. Also on this branch we can see spurs that are 3 and 4 and 5 years old. And as you look at the spurs and the vegetative growth, we can see all of these little buds at the base along here are flower buds. The vegetative buds only start out here towards the terminal. So the shorter the growth you get on an annual basis, the higher the proportion of flower buds that will form on that, again exacerbating this propensity to overcrop. So we can see here that uh, we have a, a spur on the bottom of this branch, it gets less sunlight than the, the spurs on the top. It has a more pendant uh, location, and this spur is about three years old. So the flowers on this spur are not in a good location for uh, gathering light uh, with the spur leaves. The fruit will probably not be nearly as high a quality as the fruit on these upper sunny spurs that have a little more vegetative growth to them. So when we're trying to balance this tree, we eliminate all of those lower spurs simply because they're not going to give us good fruit in the first place and they remove a significant proportion of that overcropped tree in the, in the second place. Uh, then we can make some other cuts to reduce the weak parts of the tree. So let's say I make a cut here and now I've eliminated a very significant portion of the crop on this branch. I only have flowers here, here, and here. I've got some upward growth at least it's the most veg vigorous growth that I've got on this branch. And so it has a, the ability to push more vegetative growth, produce fewer flowers, and stay in balance.